And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Undying Musicians. Going to be another sweet combo deck here on Meme Tier Monday where we play some really fun cards. Uh, that last one that we just played, Loaded Monkeys. Wow, what a deck. If y'all are watching this later on YouTube and you didn't watch that one, make sure you check that out. All right, but anyway... Um, this deck here is going to be a deck built around Field Musicians. So this Ionia card that you may have gotten three copies for free in the uh, rewards. Um, it's four mana, one four with a tune each round once you've summoned three other allies. Refill your spell mana and draw a card. So we're going to want to summon three other allies with this. All right, so also we're going to want to put Field Musicians into play. What we're going to do here is we're going to have an Undying deck, a Shadow Isles Undying deck, where we're going to have Gluttony that will sacrifice the Undying and put Field Musicians into play like that. So we're um, not playing any other four-cost uh, followers because of the Gluttony, even though a card like Spirit Leech would work incredibly well in this deck, but we don't want to uh, fill up our four mana slots because we want... Um, to be able to gluttony the undying into field musicians. All right, so let's see what else we're doing. So we, okay, so like we need to summon three allies and then we refill our spell mana and draw a card. So that means that we're going to need to spend spell mana, right? Like, because we don't want to have spell mana if we're going to refill it. All right, so we have to do that. So as, in order to uh, spend spell mana, what we got here is we're going to have like crumble. We're going to have deep meditation that can draw spells. And that's going to be important. We'll have Stalking Shadows, Glimpse Beyond. Obviously, the Gluttony can sp send, spend at the spell mana. But our most important spell is going to be Go Hard. So we're going to make this a Go Hard deck. Um, because if we can have we can have Go Hard with Deep Meditation, that's a good combo. Like how we draw two spells, specifically spells. So this will really help us find more Go Hards. Also, Field Musician should be drawing those extra cards. That's going to be... Um, you know, again, getting us towards more go hards, how we draw more cards. And of course, it refills the spell mana also. So that's good with go hard and with pack your bags. And plus, Shadow Isles just has a decent amount of card advantage anyway. We got Glimpse Beyond that will draw into uh, some go hards and stuff. Stalking Shadows doesn't grab go hard, but it gets other followers out of the deck uh, to make it a little easier. And yeah, you know, like we gluttony, we get something out of the deck. So, you know, we can kind of reduce our deck size like that. Since we're playing go hard, and uh, we're, we have like these other things that we have. We have a lot of things that uh, kill our own stuff that we're, we're going to be slaying our own things. Like we'll be slaying stuff with gluttony slays our own thing. Caretaker. We have this masked mother to kill an ally because, you know, we have the undying. We want to kill it. We have ravenous butcher. Plus, we have we have these cards like Warden's Prey and Curse Keeper and like the prey from the fading icon. Great things for for us to go hard. We're going to be go harding our own stuff quite a bit you know like we can go our go hard our own curse keeper for example while we're doing that um that's us slaying units so our our champion here is going to be kindred kindred will be up here and then whenever we slay a unit with kindred in play we mark the weakest enemy and we can kill enemies with the mark and so maybe we can use uh go hard and like pack your bags and clear out some small stuff and then use kindred to help kill big things that could be pretty cool too but then since we are an undying deck we do have a nice little reset button in here also a ruination if our opponent is taking over we can ruination reset the board uh, have our undyings still stay alive and then give us more time to do the whole go hard stuff as well so a whole bunch of stuff in this deck. It looks really fun. Should be pretty awesome. Let's try it out. So we're going to try out a Field Musicians Undying kind of control deck, I guess. Mid-range control deck here. This one This one should be fun. So since we're playing uh, meme, meme Tier Days, we just play in Normal to start with. If we go 4-0, though, we'll play the fifth game in Ranked. All right, Hecarim Azir. Starting the prediction now. What's up, boo? Yeah, Loaded Monkeys went 5-0. and oh, Dude, Loaded Monkeys was so good. It was super fun also. And we, you know, won, won a game over and ranked also. It was awesome. Yeah, it looked like a, a real good deck, honestly. All right, Hecarim Azir. So I definitely want Go Hard. I definitely want Curse Keeper, Glimpse Beyond. Um, I think I'm just going to keep all of this, honestly. I could see, like, I should probably be mulliganing the Deep Meditation. TBH, but I just kind of want to keep it. Got them. Four hour mm. Okay, well, my pl my plan here was to, like, 
play like Curse Keeper on turn two, and then like turn three, Glimpse Beyond the Curse Keeper and go hard um, something. And then that would be my two spells for my Deep Meditation. But obviously I'm just going to go hard that right now. Does make it a little bit more likely that we draw more go hard since we just put two in the deck. Nobody's blocking. <laughs> they had Shark Chariot doesn't block. I got these things that don't block. We don't need no blocking. Ah. Such a good card. Burst speed. Burst speed. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I'm going to save this Glimpse Beyond for the Kindred next turn. Just leave me alone. So I save three life either way, like here or here. So I guess I guess we just, just leave me alone. save three life this way. Our opponent stole one of our cards because they're getting revenge for all of our yoinked cards with our last deck that we played. Since we're a field musician deck, we got the pop star Stella. Right, we got our pop star with our field musicians, and we got our band KDA. They're field musicians. Um so I guess we just time with everything. I don't maybe I don't time with this. Yes, yeah, so they they're blocking here so that I mark the shark chariot. I don't have anything else marked. Man, so that's three shark chariots they got. That's kind of rough. Wish I had one more mana for this ruination. I, just, I don't have anything like deep meditation doesn't actually like find anything for me because that was the problem crumble is what we needed like if i could have deep meditation into crumble but i didn't have the mana you know i only had eight mana i didn't have five plus five so i couldn't do that yeah good game opponent there are too many sharks Don't really need gluttony, I guess, to start with. But if we find the undying, I'd be very happy with having that. Violet with the donation deck. Thank you, Violet. What kind of deck is it? Is it ranked? Is it meme tier? Like, what is it? Oh, you just redeemed it twice? Oh, no. Oh, two different. Those are two different decks. Okay. Guess I just also pass. Like, right? Like, I'm, I'm missing on one point of damage. Like, I'm not gonna. Do not 
not see what is, see what will be. Okay, so how do we kill a 1-5? <laughs> It'll take a while. It'll take a little while to kill a 1-5. Um, Blighty Caretaker is perfect with Field Musician, as far as, you know, you have to summon three allies. Blighty Caretaker by itself is three allies. So I can go hard and go hard and Caretaker challenge, and that still doesn't kill it. Let's see this. Okay. You can see the Devastian border from here. How good to serve the Emperor once more. Sorry, I didn't start a prediction for this game. Yeah, why do you have to have your champions? I don't like this. Yeah, I mean, I kind of think I just do this. I mean, it's actually better to kill Azir. I can maybe kill the Rennington with a couple Gohards and a something like that. Oh, Ancient Hourglass. Well, that was good. This game hasn't really worked out for me. Let me hear you call our Emperor's name. They're just living the dream. I have waited millennia to hear your cheers. I'm going to be taking a ton of damage here, but my hope is to be able to cast Kindred and Ravenous Butcher this turn and have Kindred mark something. That's my hope. Two four. Chase them down. Not dead yet. Shall we, dear wolf? I'm ready, little lamb. Wait, boys. It's hard, it's fast now. It knows. We're not dead yet. So I could go field musicians, then yeah, I think I have to go field musicians first. Do I yeah, do I need to keep like deny available? If I go caretaker right now, we mark the golden ambassador, and then I can keep deny available for if they have you know like fight spell. I guess I kind of have to do that because I'm I'm also worried about if I go field musicians first, then they then they play you know like the one drop or like something smaller. Also, and then we mark like that smaller thing. Our city proudly pledges itself to Sharima. Staying alive here isn't going to be easy. Oh, you're right. You're right. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, yes. Okay, so I messed this up. Right, okay. I messed this up. Alright, so basically what I need to do is I need to challenge this 3-2 and kill it. Because then that would level up Kindred. And then once we have the level of Kindred, I could mark again. And then I could go hard like my Caretaker and mark again. But that would only get the Aerophant, though. That wouldn't kill the Rennington. And I need to kill the Rennington. I'm bored. Not my Never. That was fun. 
Who will we chase now? Everyone, dear wolf. Please don't attack right away. That's too bad. Stop with these ruthless predators. That's too bad. That's exactly lethal. So the reason why I didn't cast Gohard last turn is because I had exactly four mana. So if I cast Gohard, then we get to deny. Okay, we got fight spell or something. They're so aggressive. All right, let's try again. New hand. Okay, I like the sand better. Yeah, yeah. I need to play more Kindred. I forgot about that part. So I, if I would have glimpsed beyond something, my Kindred would have got plus two, plus two. So we would have stayed alive at two life. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't even think about that. I guess I didn't. Yeah, you know, these new. That's why we. You know, that's why we keep playing these new cards and and learning and everything, right? It's all about learning. And yeah, I. I I did not even think about that line of Kindred gets plus two, plus two for slaying something. Just leave me alone! Strange. Oh. Upgrade Warren's Prey. Yep, <laughs> a lot of do, a lot of new cards to kind of learn on the fly while we're streaming, and yeah, that's. Um, but you know, that's something that now, you know, now we'll think about that a little bit more. You have that kind of scenario shows up again. I feel like Ruination is going to be pretty good in this game. I feel like they're going to have like a Jinx and a Twist of Fate in play, and we're going to Ruination. We'll be pretty happy. Alright, I'm gonna try field musicians first though. A tune of courage for our companions. I say wasted a tune value. And I'm gonna waste mana value also though, I guess. Cause if I go caretaker next turn, we just get three. Um I mean, I could gluttony for free, I guess, and get a two drop. Is so curse keeper fading icon? It could be mass mother though. Mass mother would be bad, but it could be curse keeper. So while gluttony is free, it's cost zero mana right now, and it has potential. I'm going to still just so we we don't get any mana value, but we still get to draw a card. Um, I like that we have deny. That could be cool. Okay, I'll just let that happen. No big deal. This is the important thing. Okay, because if they'd have like Mystic Shot or Get Excited or something like that to protect Twisted Fate, then we'd have Deny. Alright, get some more Gohards back into the deck. Possibly these crumbles just need to be vengeance, right? Like, I guess both of those last times, like, you know, like, if if the crumble, if this was, like, vengeance to kill the Hecarim or vengeance to kill the Renekton, right? Kind of seems like maybe we need fast speed stuff. Um, do I Ruination right now? No. So much to play for. No stone unturned. Entering crime scene. I was hoping they'd be more scared than what they are. Don't like your tone. Last note. Is 
they got five cards, I got six. They got four mana. This is a real spin to win. Looks like they got a real spin to win. Where do you stand on cold shots? The treasure was in me the whole time. I gotta take the Curse Keeper. And Rage Yeti is pretty cool, but we gotta take Curse Keeper. Because, you know, we have Gluttony to go along with Curse Keeper. That Gluttony will be my second spell, so we'll have three mana Deep Meditation. And that's a way to find the Undying. We play in bilge rules, son. Wait a minute. Really? Oh, really? Save two life? Like that's it, just two life. More equipment for the field. Really? Deal me in. Hmm. I was kind of hoping for more of, like, uh, more go-hards. That's what I was hoping, you know, like, deep meditation, go find our go-hards, but... My plan is to crumble the Undying to kill the Zevi. I guess it's going to be pretty easy for them to stop that, though. The Undying is just a 2-1. Do I, do I gotta kill Twisted Fate? Soak it in. I could use two of me. Maybe I do. Well, that's too bad. Okay, these... I don't think I like slow speed crumble. The slow speed crumble is not looking good. Double trouble. I could use two of me. So to summon three other allies in one round. Not really doing that. All right, they call my bluff. I don't want a single mystic shot to kill the undying. Perfect. Well then, because each one, like, so each one of these puts two more go hards back into my deck. So we are going to end up with a lot of go hards in our deck, and that is good for deep meditation. All right, so all these things that they have are fleeting, right? Welcome. So they just got a ton of fleeting cards over there. So I guess I could have passed priority probably once. Now they're probably wary. Take me for a spin. Ha ha. Ha ha. All right, pack your bags. Deal five to all of your enemies and their enemy nexus. That's a strong card. Strong to quite strong. Somewhere in that range. Dude, imagine if this card only costs one mana. How busted would that be if it only costs one mana? Yeah, I'm pretty happy they just went slot bot, slot bot. That, that uh, really played into my packer bags. Oh. I got so many fleeting cards. To the fates at seven. To the fates leveled up. Looks like I'm on a hot streak. Built to spec. So they have a million cards in hand, but those are all going to go away at the end of the turn. They only got one more mana. So I feel like we're doing pretty good. This slot bot will be pretty big, though. That they have left this one over here. Excuse me. It's 
about to get plus eight, plus eight, or plus eight stats. That'll be pretty big. Yeah, so a Zevi, remember, the second card is just a created card, so it doesn't count as, like, drawing two. The second one's just a created card, so they're down to 14 cards total. And just to make sure, let's let's double them up. So we're going to have 28 cards, they're going to have 14. I guess we'll have more than that, 29, sorry. More than double. All right, let's, let's see what they got. Hopefully a bunch of champions. We want to see Twisted Fates and Jinx in here. Oh yeah, stress testing. That's their best thing to have in hand is stress testing. Okay. All those gone. Back at the table. Oh, they found another twist of fate. And they're back at at the table. We play for the people and sing for the land. Let's play this. Come on, give it a try. Mm. So I'll wait till next turn to play the Curse Keeper so that we can... Um, you know, because we want to have three allies in the same turn. Ravenous Butcher will help the whole three allies in one turn thing. In fact, I can play three allies this turn with Ravenous Butcher, but we'll just wait till next turn for that. So let's take this Ravenous Butcher. Which, maybe I should just play this Go Hard, just get the Go Hard out of my hand again. Keep putting it back into the deck. I should probably do that. I'll keep hurting the slot bot. You know, because each, even though you don't kill it, each damage you hurt, you know, now it only has nine total stats, right? So like it just it just gets randomized. So like it'll draw one. So like it's gonna have ten now. So you know now it's a two eight. Oh, that thing never dies. Okay, let's play another field musicians. So we got two of these in play. So we can draw multiple cards. One for each. Eyes open. And then if I play Curse Keeper right here, they they play a spell that red cards my Curse Keeper. That's bad. I don't want them to red card the Curse Keeper. So let's uh, get in a third go hard back in. So they're chilling with 11 cards now. Oh, that jinx is bad. Alright, um, Curse Keeper. And I guess I want to I want to be able to refill all of my spell mana. So Glimpse Beyond only costs one mana right now if I want to play it. Probably worth one mana glimpse beyond. No, 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 no. I'll just do this. Good thing I didn't. Alright, pack your bags. Yet again. This is a pretty cool little combo deck we got going on that we got to show off this game. Let's attack. Okay. That'll do. One and two. Pretty cool when it works. Pretty cool. But yeah, first game was a little rough. Took a little time to get used to the deck. Here we go. Twisted Fate Fizz. Now they're going to have all their elusives. Always a difficult deck to beat. This is a good matchup for Go Hard. Um, our hand's not bad though, but there's just there's no Go Hards here. But it's like a cool little hand. But I guess is Warren's Prey really stopping them? Probably not. Maybe we just mulligan this Warren's Prey because I kind of like the whole Undying Mass Mother thing. But maybe that's just like too slow. I don't know. Maybe not. Ugh. We don't need to draw all the most expensive stuff. We want to just draw go hards. Yeah. That's what was so good about the last game for us, is we did a great job 
drawing gohards. Okay, got a field musician. Wow, pick a card already? They're, they're gonna have a lot of fleeting cards. They must have... They gotta have something like... Uh... Ooh, that's not bad. They have something like Rummage in their hand. They can get rid of fleeting cards. I hope they just drew like three Twisted Fates. And four Wiggly Burble Fishes. Hope that's all they drew. Never lost a fair game. Or played one. Eyes open. Oh, stress testing. That makes sense. Keep those fleeting cards from going anywhere. This card gets burned, right? Yeah, they don't have room for that. Basically playing this because it's a good attacker and, you know, like, we're just going to be attacking with two 4-4s four and a 5-5. Five five. That's a good blocker. Yeah, Kindred Spell, all right. It can kind of help me help me from taking some damage at some point. Um, so I think this is going to mark the Twisted Fate. Oh, it marked that thing? It's marked Twisted Fate before. I guess it's just random. <laughs> Last time we did had this exact same scenario, it marked the Twisted Fate. And it was the exact same scenario. I thought about not playing this to try to, you know, to see if they play like a bunch more stuff and then Ruination. Looks like I'm on a hot streak. All right, so I have like Spirit Journey. I could stop one of these for a little bit. Depending on how many they have attacking. I can deep meditation and look for another um, go hard if they play more one power ones. Spirit Journey is probably the most reliable. This is pretty silly. I guess I could just go crumble though. Because let's see, so this is summon, they make another one cost spell. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So that would be the 10th card. Yeah, this needs to be patched out of existence. Yes. Burble Fish needs to be nerfed. This is, Burble Fish is not an acceptable card. It's the only card in the, in the game that really needs to be nerfed right now. I didn't use that one mana for Go Harden. Do 
it's just so difficult to like try to keep up ruination against burble fish because you, you they just you know like if there is like you, you don't have to like play every single burble fish first and play into ruination right like so it's it's difficult it's a difficult thing to do That's why I didn't caretaker, because if I if I caretaker they just easily red card. Man, basically no go hards. Meditations weren't too kind to us. And what I'm going to do is Spear Journey the Spray Fin. And just draw another spell. Alright, we're done with this. Who's of Fizz is a great deck. Okay, not Purple Fish. That's good. Alright, so we're playing against Draven, Ezreal. Um, yeah, these, these Crumbles... <laughs> okay, we. I think we have to replace Crumble. I honestly do. I think we have to play um, like Black Spear instead, or Vengeance. I think we're going to have to start playing those kind of cards instead. Um, looks like like I think we have to just replace Crumble because it's the slow speed, the slow speed is killing us. Our opponents can re respond and kill our stuff also because we have to kill one of our things that's killing us. Um, yeah, that card, that card is not working out. That does not look like a very good card. Besides that, I mean everything else is going pretty good in our deck. Um, it's difficult to do gluttony stuff. It's probably not even really necessary to play gluttony. I've kind of noticed that with every single Gluttony deck we've played so far. You know, we've probably played about five Gluttony decks so far, and Gluttony hasn't really been good in any of them. Even, like, the Anivia one. Remember how I was talking about, like, I didn't want Gluttony in, like, the Anivia Rekindler deck? Time for the main event. All right, so my plan is... Um, right yeah, you could play, like, Withering Whale... For that Twisted Fizz matchup, if you'd like. My plan is to Blight a Caretaker and challenge with that, and then we'll like go hard afterwards. I want to see them. I want to see if they take this first. A yeah, Crumble's just always a bit awkward. It's just always a little, just a little too awkward. It's kind of like the box, same kind of card that like. It like reads good on paper, and and you know you, you always think about like the the best case scenarios, and it looks like it could be a, a good card, but just in in practicality, it doesn't Time work out. For the money makers. They're gonna level up Draven here because they're gonna have Whirling Death, so then they level up Draven, so now it doesn't die to Go Hard. Well, that's not good. That's even worse. It's a big place. Let's see all of it. 
<laughs> Things haven't gone too well for us in these games. Not having much luck. This takes out a target. Hopefully we hit the Undying. Uh, I guess we have to hit the Undying, right? Because we only have two Caretakers and we've drawn both Caretakers. So yeah, it's got to be the Undying. Good. <clears throat> Alright, so I only have two... Or I only have one other copy of Gohard in my deck right now. I would love for this to work with the caretaker just doing two, two to both of those. They still have twice as many cards in hand as I do, though. <laughs> hey, they have a lot of cards over there. Just let this happen. More Whirling Death. Alright, so they are letting the Ezreal take uh, two. So we'll try to finish off the Ezreal here with the Gohard. Um, that would be kind of cool if, you know, if we could, like, wait till next turn and have Kindred in play and then go hard that and then kill the Draven, but that's obviously not how the game would actually play out, but that would be... Really cool if that could all happen. This next turn we will have 10 mana, so we will be able to play Kindred, and then if they use whatever removal spell to kill Kindred, we can save it with our other one. With the kill it, then revive it. Like that. I don't know if it marks anything. I don't know exactly how this works. We're going to kind of find out. Does it mark anything? It does not. If I block, they have the chance to use, like, the Spinning Axe to level up Draven. They still, like, need to use Spinning... Because like, they, they, like, need to use Spinning Axe to get a card out of their hand. And I didn't want to give them that opportunity to just level up Draven. Let's see, yeah, they need to play this anyway. Because they... Their life is too great. They have too many cards. Okay, not bad. Tear them apart. I, uh, so just sacrificing it to get rid of two Ezreal abilities, so Ezreal still at Four out of six instead of leveled up. That's a good card. Glimpsing on dying would not kill Draven, because Kindred has to be in play. Like it would mark Draven, yes, but Kindred would get killed, so Kindred would not be in play, so Kindred would not kill the Draven at the end of turn, because you had to have it in play at the end of turn. Dex a little like we are you know it's meme tier day right like and so we don't always win all these games on meme tier day especially whenever our opponents are playing really good quality decks here in normal 
you know, that Twist of Aphis deck's incredible. This Draven Ezreal deck is really, really solid. Our deck's much more meme tier than, uh, you know, it's 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 definitely like just a, a fun combo deck, but it's not as competitive as these decks. And so no real shame in losing these games. But I think that I think we do need a little bit better interaction. I think that um, you know, maybe we could find a little bit more removal in here somewhere. All they have to do is cast two decimates to kill me. But you never know. Maybe they don't. Okay, we got a deny. Deny could be cool. Um... Do you mean like the version of the... Yeah, so question is what tier is the Jarvan Mono Demacia? Um, probably not a very high tier. Uh, it I think that that deck could probably use another region. I, I just don't think that the, the elites are a very good payoff of like playing cards that specifically say the word elite on them. I just don't... I don't think that's a very good payoff. Like, it, I mean... The only... Really, like, the big reason to play that is Battlesmith, and I don't think Battlesmith's a big enough payoff. I just think that just playing Jarvan with other cards and maybe some of them are elite, some of them are not. I, I just don't like... I don't think the elites are, are good enough of trying to stick to only playing elites in a deck. I just think that that's not a great idea. All right, only number three. So we're probably scaring him a little bit. Maybe not. So I have one Undying coming back right now. Yeah, when you say, like, it doesn't look like this deck works too well, it's also, I mean, think about the decks that we're playing against. We're playing against really good quality decks. And, you know, that's... Their decks are more competitive, for sure. But our deck needs... We need Black Spear and Vengeance. We need fast speed removal and, like, like actual removal. Like, that's what we need. Crumble, not good enough. And then we need... Um, yeah, basically that, that's, that's like really what our deck's missing. We can't, can't have slow speed with, like, Crumble. And Caretaker tries, but it, it needs, it needs help. But yeah, so like, that's, that's what we need. Like, we need, we need Black Spear, and we need Vengeance. Because we just can't kill, we just can't kill any champions. Right now, right? Like, our opponents just, like, play a Draven, play a Twist of Fate. We just can't do anything about it. Um, get Crumble out of here. And and just, like, the... You know, because like, you know, we're dying to just big, overwhelmed champions, right? Like, Gnosis was just huge and killed us. And we couldn't, like, really do anything about it. Like, the whole time. And, and then the next time, it was, something else was big. Um, and, you know, we saw, like, that 8-8 eight, eight right there. Can't have the slow speed cards. You just can't play Crumble. Gotta have Vengeance. And then Black Spear should work well in here. Um, I think we can get rid of the Fading Icon. I think that we have enough small things to sacrifice. We could get rid of that. And honestly, I would just recommend just playing like one Gluttony. Gluttony is just not really necessary. I know it is like kind of cool, but you really just don't need a second. Like there's, yeah, you just don't need two Gluttonies even. It's, yeah, it's just don't really need very many of those cards. So. Um, I think that that should do that should do uh, some good work of like because we obviously have like things die all the time, and Black Spear kills like all these important champions that you got to kill. So I think that's that's like two little things that that could really improve the deck right there. Just ha having some better removal, um, it does mud muddle down your deep meditation a little bit, but that was already a little muddled down. So yeah, I think that I think that would work. 
Another thing, so Atrocity is another card we could play. We could play like one Vengeance, one Atrocity. Um, Atrocity is really only that good with the Undying, though. It's not really that good with anything else. I, I don't think I would recommend it. We could also play like one copy of Spirit's Refuge for um, the Undying and for Kindred to be able to heal our Nexus some and just kind of have really for Kindred to have like a protection spell and heal the Nexus some. But I think I would just go with this. I think we'd just go Black Spear and Vengeance. I think that would that would honestly be a pretty good upgrade, right? Like that that would honestly be a pretty good upgrade. And maybe maybe one or two of those like earlier losses could have been wins with that. Uh, with those upgrades. All right, so so give that a try. Uh, those of y'all watching later on YouTube that want to try this out, want to try some field musicians, give that a try. I mean, I, I do think that that could make the deck, um, you know, a good amount better, and maybe that could have turned this into a 2-3 three or 3-2, three just just playing these kind of cards. Because um, there were just, like, singular threats that were that were killing us, like with when it was the, uh, the Renekton that was just huge. Or the um, like the the one twisted fate that just you know against uh, I guess there wasn't really just like a one twisted fate that killed us, but it was a Rennington and something else from the other games. Anyway, uh, we're gonna go ahead and move on to our last deck. So there we go. There's Field Musicians, Undying, some Undying Musicians. All right. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button, leave those comments, and uh, let me know if this Black Spear Vengeance really helps out the deck. I think it will. I think that, that that's what this deck was missing. I think that, uh, you know, like just we died too many times with Crumble in hand and with without being able to play spells. And I think that these fast spells, because we are a slower control deck, I think these fast removal spells our clutch and exactly what we need all right but that's all i got here for undying musicians so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video